Welcome back to Your Life. It's now time for a Your Life story. This week, we sit down with George Madsen. George is a karate master. Matter of fact, he's been credited for bringing the Okinawa style of karate to the United States back in the 1950s. As you'll see in his story, he's still going strong by living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. George Madsen's passion and dedication to the art of karate has impacted the lives of many people across our country and Canada. The 72-year-old sensei, or teacher, who lives in Eustis, Florida, actually brought the centuries-old Okinawan style of karate to the United States back in 1958. From 1956 through 1958, I was on Okinawa, and uh, while there I learned the art of Weichiru, which is a Chinese Okinawan system of martial arts. It turned out uh, I was the first American that was allowed to learn the real system. Uh, lots of Americans uh, that were over there and, uh, le learned how to punch and kick a bag, but they didn't really learn the art of, of, the, uh, of karate. And I was the first person uh, outside of Okinawa that was given a black belt or earned a black belt in 1958. George has never forgotten that honor. Today, the Okinawa Karate Federation ranks him as ninth degree black belt. Here in the United States, he's ranked 10th degree black belt. George is committed to passing on the discipline and ancient art form that allowed him to achieve balance in his life. I came from a broken home and a lot of the problems that I had in growing up, I see in children today. I started teaching in Boston and uh, while I was developing uh, students who could also teach. I set up programs for uh, children who had learning disabilities. Uh, I had a school at uh, Perkins School for the Blind and you know we did all kinds of very interesting programs for dis disabled and disadvantaged children. So when I saw how this worked, it worked for me so I felt it was a given that it was going to work for other children and it has. Something else that has worked for George over the years has been the ancient form of Chinese medicine known as acupuncture. In China, people who do martial arts often are taught the healing arts as part of, of their, uh, their, their training. Acupuncture originated in China thousands of years ago, but its popularity has grown significantly over the past three decades here in the United States. Basically, tiny stainless steel needles are tapped into the skin superficially at strategic points. They are manipulated to get the flow of energy known as qi rebalanced. Many Western doctors view the acupuncture points as places to stimulate nerves, muscles, and connective tissue. This stimulation seems to boost the activity of the body's natural painkillers and increase blood flow. And that's what acupuncture and oriental medicine look at how the body moves bioelectrically. We deal with biochemistry in Western medical model. We think chemistry is, is, is the source of, of how the body works, but it's the energy that moves the chemicals. And the only difference between you being alive and dead is the energy that flows through you. When you're dead, you still have chemicals, but nothing's moving you. I look at acupuncture as, uh, as maintenance, kind of a thing that uh, you do just to, to fine tune your body. Scientists don't fully understand how or why acupuncture works. There are several studies that show it can help ease the aches and pains of osteoarthritis of the knee, fibromyalgia, and even helps folks deal with the nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy. It's qualitative medicine. You know, it's really the other, the yang, the inside of yang-based biochemical medicine, which is quantitative, because Western medicine looks at the numbers. You look at blood pressure, you look at cholesterol, you look at everything in, you know, kind of a straight line. And this is really um, a round-based, you know, non-linear form of medicine that really boils down to quality. Oriental medicine has played an important role in George Matson's life. He hasn't given up on conventional medicine. He simply appreciates the balance of East meeting West. It, it is essential. I mean, if, if your body is not tuned, it's like a car running on, on four cylinders, you know. It's, eventually that engine is going to burn up or you're going to have other problems. So it, it's, just, it's just smart to try and do everything you can do to help your body, become, become sensitive to your body. We wish George the very best. Now, if you have an inspirational story to tell, log on to our show's website, yourlifetv.com.